So for some reason you have decided you want to become a better jet pilot. Even though they are heavily underrated in Battlefield 2042, you as a good pilot get to decide if the enemy team has vehicles or doesn't. In this video we're gonna cover basics in movement, the three main loadout types and then of course jet awareness. Or in other words, what are your main threats and how to deal with them. And yeah, before we start with the video, I wanted to thank you guys. Your support has been awesome lately. It's awesome that we could reach 250 subs in such a short amount of time. And yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's start making you a decent pilot and giving your Battlefield teammates awesome air support. Finally. We'll also cover how to rodeo your jet at the end of the video. Good, with the intro out of the way, let's talk loadouts. Air to air combat uses 25mm cannons and radar missiles. The tank hunting kit is going to be the 30mm cannon and the air to ground missiles. For the best of both worlds, 25mm and AGMs. Let me explain. So the air to air combat kit features the 25mm and the active radar missiles. 25mm are better in this scenario because of their higher fire rate and precision. To make anti-air support even easier, active radar missiles are fire and forget. As long as you shoot it somewhere near a target, they're gonna hit. And trust me when I say the combination of both is a real nightmare for enemy air support. Okay, and once you grow out of that phase, you'll be probably using the tank hunting kit. Air to ground missiles are the way to go for jets. And if you combine that with the much heavier 30mm cannon, you're an absolute nightmare for most of the vehicles down there. The only real downside is using the 30mm. Even after its buff in Season 5 and the damage you can do against armored vehicles, they're just not as precise as the 25mm. The AGMs do more than enough damage to kill any tank anyways. And yeah, that's what brings us to the loadout I use most of the time. For lack of a better term, the farming kit. With this kit, you not only have the possibility to snipe pilots out of their vehicles, start doing infantry kills and still being decent, at air to air combat, you can still farm tanks because of the air to ground missiles, and you can melt down light armored vehicles because of your higher precision. That's pretty good! Side note! If you have awesome teammates who laser targets for you, not only can the edge ground missiles lock onto that target, but they also do more damage because of it. At the end of the day, it's your job as a pilot to decide which loadout is needed on the battlefield. <laughs> and that's what brings us to jet awareness. Or in other words, what do you have to kill first in order to not die first? Since Battlefield 3, things have changed. In 2042, there's a lot of new fears for jet pilots. The pretty nice rule of thumb is, if there's a jet up, he could be running air-to-air -air loadout. So not focusing him is a big mistake. Once you killed your biggest threat, look out for AAs. AAs can't look up straight and are therefore a pretty easy target. Especially if you get a wingman. But always keep an eye out for them. Because if you don't know where an AA is, he will probably wreck you. After dealing with your biggest threats, comes the hardest part. Looking for enemies. Because you as a pilot are a beast in terms of damage, but you need to find something to apply to. So get yourself as much airtime as possible, look backwards while doing so, spam that freaking spotting button, pray you hit something before you hit the ground. Normally decent teammates make this a lot easier. Then there's only one real threat left, a good list player. Even though you can hear Lissiles pretty far away, a good Lissile from an unexpected angle is pretty much certain death. Lock-ons are no real threat to you. Even though if you had to flare, all you have to do to avoid getting hit by one is be quick and stay low. If you do this fast enough and with a little brain, it will 100% be something between you and this missile. Knowing what to prioritize and what loadout to use can be quite useful, but all of that is quite useless if you don't know how to keep your jet up in the air. Well, bear with me going over the basics on how to get started so we can get all of you guys rodeoing and dogfighting in your jets. If stuff like this has happened to you before, you're on a pretty good path, bro. If you want to start out in peace, find yourself a bot lobby, familiarize with basic movement. Okay, let's start out with your left hand. On either controller or keyboard, left and right will control your rudder movement, to the left or to the right. While the rudders are mostly used for small aim adjustments, your left hand also controls your speed. From sprinting, which engages your afterburner, to braking or pulling your stick back, which is essential to outmaneuver an enemy. Your right stick or mouse control your rolls via horizontal movement and the pitch of your nose via vertical movement. So to get started doing quick turns, roll your jet to one of the sides and pull your nose up as hard as you can. Now by pulling up your nose, you will just keep on turning. While doing this drill, use afterburner and brake a lot. And I mean a lot, because once you do that for a while, you will 100% get the feeling of when you turn the fastest. And once you reach the level where you don't crash instantly and it becomes boring, hit up the portal server browser and find yourself a round of air superiority. Because if you practiced your quick turns, this is the best way to find out if you're actually turning fast or if you should play some more with your braking and afterburner game. But let's say your turning is decent, then this mode is the optimal playground for you to learn how to avoid obstacles, fine tune your aim with your rudders, get your first 25mm kills and much more. But the best 
best part is with all of these pilots, you will have instant feedback about your evasive maneuvers. And now if you're in your head, you're like, oh, fish, you didn't show us any evasive maneuvers. I know, and that's 100% intended. Because I showed you how to quick turn. All you have to do to lose an enemy on your six is change it up a little. Use your rudders, like close to buildings. Roll a bit more, roll a bit less. Just do something unexpected. And the more you do that, the more you will witness other jets crashing into buildings or even their own teammates. Once you're comfortable doing that, why not check out some other jets like the Warthog? The thing is an absolute beast. It turns slower, but at the same time has the best machine gun this game has to offer. As long as you have fun flying these things, trust me, you will get better. Okay, with basic movement out of the way, let's also cover how to surf or how to rodeo your jet. It's actually pretty easy, but looks fancy. Just roll your jet upside down, Pitch your nose up slightly and then just get out of the vehicle. That should be putting you right on top of your jet. Didn't want to talk as fast, but also did not want the video to be 20 minutes. So, if you made it this far, thanks for watching.